Joining us now, the Sunday Times Asia correspondent Philip Sherwell is in Bangkok. And Philip, can you tell us a bit more about what was said in that press conference today? The spokesman is trying to um, has been trying to convey an air of a return to a degree of normalcy. Um, he's been uh, saying that the uh, military authorities are um, are regaining uh, control, um, and he has been sort of uh, holding up figures and graphs to show that there are less people on the streets, there are less protests, there are less incidents. Now, it's certainly true that the numbers of protesters who we're seeing in um, in the in still daily demonstrations have dwindled because of the ferocity of the uh, military crackdown. Um, the, um, the protesters are sort of taking different tactics now, smaller groups um, in different locations, more of a sort of cat and mouse, you know, attempts to um, evade the authorities. Um, but also, um, you know, it's not only that they have, um, that the numbers have dwindled because of the, uh, the, 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 uh, measures the military has taken, the, the, the lethal measures uh, that you, you'll have seen so often in the last couple, you know, few weeks of, of uh, shooting protesters, shots to the head and neck have been a primary cause of death. You know, these, these indicate snipers are out there. But, you know, they've also cracked down dramatically on the use of the, of the internet. So a lot less information um, is, is coming out. So we, we are seeing fewer, fewer videos. But the protesters, um, you know, their, their tactics remain um, not just focused on numbers on the streets, but um, in terms of the civil disobedience movement, which is the strike movement, uh, which has been bringing much of the civil service and uh, business to a halt. Now, the military, again, claims people are going back to work, maybe being, being forced back to work because they were being told they'd lose their housing, they wouldn't be paid. It's impossible to gauge those sorts of numbers. Uh, but um, the, um, the, but so, so really, you know, the, 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 the tactics are changing. Um, the, the groundswell of opposition is still very strong. Um, and as you mentioned, they also said they'd be, um, you know, holding elections within two years. They'd initially said the state of emergency would last one year. Uh, the spokesman has subsequently acknowledged it could be extended by by six months or six months again. So, um, you know, those elections won't be um, involving, it's fair to say, Aung San Suu Kyi, the deposed leader, who's facing a series of charges and they want to rule her and her party, the National League for Democracy, out of any future in uh, Myanmar. And even as the junta uh, was, was seeking to spread this kind of propaganda um, about what is going on, um, there, wa there was uh, more of a crackdown, wasn't there? There was more violence against the protesters on the streets. Yes, we're hearing um, reports from a town called Pago, which is fairly near Yangon, to the, to the, in, the, in the heartlands of, uh, of Myanmar, uh, where um, demonstrates uh, where military moved in on a on a demonstration site um, pre-dawn, and uh, there are a few pictures have come out, and they show uh, what seem to indicate the use of rocket propelled gren grenades, possi possibly other heavy weaponry, and there are there are very um, alarming stories of up to up to thirty killed in this in this military crackdown. So, um, you know, yes, you know, fewer, fewer people out there, but the clashes are still happening. Philip, thank you very much. Philip Sherwell there.